Prisons are not only home to some of the most dangerous people in society, but have also been the site of terrible suffering, death and injustice. With so many tormented souls trapped in such a small space, it's no wonder that prisons are often seen as creepy and haunted places. Here are my choices for five of the most haunted prisons on Earth. Number 5. New Mexico State Penitentiary Opened in 1885, the New Mexico State Penitentiary is a men's maximum security prison that holds around 800 inmates. In 1980, cell block 4, also known as Old Main, was the site of one of the most violent prison riots in history. Overcrowding at the prison had become a severe problem, and the facility was chronically understaffed. Staff were demotivated, poorly paid, and had not received the level of training that was required to keep a maximum security prison population under control. The situation reached its boiling point on February 2nd, 1980, when a small group of prisoners were being held in a temporary dorm facility which had been left unlocked and guarded by only one inexperienced officer. The group had been drinking home-brewed alcohol and in a drunken rage attacked the lone guard, taking his keys. The riot spread like wildfire, as only 15 guards were on duty keeping watch of over 1,100 hardened criminals. The inmates raided the pharmacy for drugs and began unlocking other areas of the prison, releasing more prisoners from their cells to join in the riot. The prison's control center quickly fell under inmate control, as the gate to this area had been left unlocked and the new bulletproof glass protecting the control center was easily smashed with the aid of a fire extinguisher. This gave the rioters access to the entire facility. Cell Block 4 held the prison's informants, known as the Snitches, and this soon became the rioting prisoner's main target. At first it seemed as though the snitches would be safe, as they were held in individual cells for their own protection. However, construction workers operating nearby had left welding torches unprotected. The rioters seized the welding torches and used them to cut through the bars. Of the 33 total deaths that took place during the riot, the majority of them would occur in cell block 4. The informants were brutally tortured with the welding torches, and many were set on fire. The burn marks from one of these murders is still visible today, on the concrete floor where he died in cell block 4. Despite the grisly mark being steam cleaned and repainted, the burnt outline always seems to reappear. Another prisoner in cell block 4 was decapitated with a hatchet. The marks from this savage beheading scarred the floor and can also still be seen today. By the end of the two day riot, 12 of the 15 guards had been captured and subjected to brutal beatings and rape. Over 90 prisoners were injured and 33 had been killed. Shockingly, no prisoners were charged with the murders and assaults that took place during the orgy of violence, and most of the prisoners involved in the riot were simply relocated. The now abandoned cell block 4, known as Old Main, is said to be haunted for obvious reasons. The sheer level of violence, death, pain and suffering that took place in Old Main has seemingly left its mark on the prison, and unexplained phenomena and ghost sightings have become widely reported. One of the most notable events took place when a group of radio reporters visited the prison for a Halloween special they were producing. Although initially skeptical of the stories of hauntings, the reporters soon changed their minds. Soon after entering Old Main, they heard the sounds of cell doors slamming shut. However, as the building was abandoned, it had no electricity supply, so the doors could only be opened and shut manually via turning metal cranks that were difficult to move and rusted with age. The group checked on the cell doors but were unable to explain how they were able to have been slammed shut so quickly without power. Former employees at the prison have also reported hearing cries, growls, screams and footsteps emanating from deep within Old Main, as well as hearing the cell doors opening and slamming shut. Other strange anomalies such as sudden temperature drops, mists and dark apparitions have also been reported, but could these be the work of the spirits of prisoners who perished in the riot? Or are they simply the result of overactive imaginations? Number 4. The Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia The Eastern State Penitentiary is a now abandoned US prison, which operated between 1829 and 1971, and was one of the first prisons in the world which was supposed to focus on reform rather than punishment. Isolation was seen as the best way to reform criminals, and inmates were held in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day and would only be let out from their cell to exercise, which took place in their own personal exercise yard that was attached to each cell. The prisoners even ate alone and contact with other people, including guards, was kept at a minimum. On the rare occasions that prisoners did leave their cells, they would have a hood placed over their head to prevent them seeing and being seen by other prisoners. The idea behind such strict solitary confinement was that the isolation would cause inmates to reflect upon their crimes, eventually regretting their actions and repenting. However, the truth is that the excessive isolation is believed to have caused widespread mental illnesses amongst inmates and many prisoners were driven insane. 
Although officially the prison rejected the idea of punishment, the reality was that the prison guards utilised a wide range of torturous punishments, which would often be handed out for the most minor infractions. Any attempt at communication with other prisoners, including whistling or singing, was reason enough for punishment. The iron gag was one of the most common and feared of these punishments, and involved the prisoners' arms being chained behind their back and then connected to a device that was then clamped onto their tongue. Any attempt at movement would result in the gag tearing the tongue. Another cruel punishment was the water bath. The prisoner would be dunked in a bath of ice cold water and chained up naked to the wall overnight. During extremely cold months, the water would freeze to ice on the prisoner's skin, and this often caused death. Other punishments such as straight jackets and a device known as the mad chair were also often used. The mad chair involved the prisoner being strapped into a chair so tightly that they were denied even the slightest movement. This torture could last for several days, and the tight chains and straps would restrict circulation, causing extreme swelling and pain. Many prisoners who suffered this particular torture were known to have gone insane as a result, earning it the nickname of the mad chair. Disobeying the rules might also see you cast into the hole, which was a pit dug under block 14 that was created to hold inmates in complete isolation for long periods of time. Air and light was restricted down in the hole, and the little food and water that the prisoner received had to be eaten quickly, as the pit was also home to a huge number of rats and insects, which would eat anything that was left on the floor. Unsurprisingly, these horrendous tortures, along with extreme isolation, caused insanity, disease, death and suicides. And it's no wonder that since its closure, the prison has been the site of a huge number of reports of hauntings. Many people believe that the tortured souls of all those who suffered here still cling to the building's walls. All the usual phenomenon associated with haunted sites seems to be present, including orbs, footsteps, whispering voices, screaming and shadowy figures being seen by visitors and staff. Cell Block 4 is widely accepted as the most haunted area of the prison, and ghostly faces have been witnessed lurking behind cell doors, as well as a shadowy figure who roams Cell Block 4's dark corridors. The man employed to maintain the areas of the building still open to visitors has reported being grabbed in Cell Block 4 so tightly that he was unable to move, and he is in no doubt that there is evil trapped inside the prison. Whether you believe these accounts or not, it's undeniable that the Eastern State Penitentiary is a gloomy and creepy place, and the dark history associated with the building, as well as its crumbling interior and bleak cells, have made it a popular location for film and television crews, as well as paranormal investigators and curious visitors. Number 3. Mansfield Reformatory in Ohio Built between 1886 and 1910, Mansfield is perhaps best known by most people as being used in the film The Shawshank Redemption due to its striking exterior. However, like many prisons, it has a darker history and was the site for numerous murders and terrible suffering. Punishment for bad behaviour amongst prisoners was extremely harsh, and the guards routinely handed out beatings and torture for any minor infraction of the rules. Solitary confinement was held in a dark, windowless basement cell where the prisoner was denied even the most basic of facilities. The length of time a man would spend alone in the dark would be at the discretion of the guards, and there were rumours of inmates being kept so long in the hole that they went insane. Severe overcrowding at the prison led to deadly outbreaks of disease, as well as high levels of conflict amongst prisoners, and the despair of life within its walls led many prisoners to choose to end their life rather than continue on in misery. Over 200 inmates are known to have died in the prison as a result of fights, beatings or suicide. However, inmates were not the only people who perished within the prison's walls. In 1926, a corrections officer was shot and killed during an attempted breakout, and in 1932, another officer was beaten to death by one of the prisoners in solitary confinement with an iron rod. Possibly the darkest chapter in the prison's history occurred on July the 21st, 1948. Following a breakout by two of the prison's inmates, the outlaws kidnapped the superintendent, along with his wife and 20-year-old daughter from their home which was located near the prison grounds. The outlaws then callously murdered all three victims before being caught. In the resulting shootout, one of the murderers was killed and the other captured before eventually being executed. However, this was not the only tragedy to affect the office of superintendent at the prison. One of the most controversial deaths occurred in 1950 when the wife of the new superintendent was shot. The official story was that she accidentally knocked a loaded gun off of a closet shelf, which then went off firing a bullet into her left lung. However, due to the unusual nature of her death and rumours that their marriage was in trouble, some believe that the superintendent himself may have shot his wife to spare the stigma of a divorce. These rumours were never proven, however, 
and the superintendent died of a heart attack in his office in 1959. During its 94 years of operation, 154,000 inmates spent time at Mansfield. The sheer amount of death, murder and suffering inflicted within its walls has led to a large number of reports of ghost sightings and strange occurrences, and many believe that the spirits of mistreated inmates still walk its corridors. The building's crumbling interior, peeling paint and dark rooms add to the prison's creepy atmosphere. Although a huge number of ghost sightings have been reported, the most frequent sightings seem to occur in the warden's quarters, the basement, the west wing shower room and the cell block. The warden's quarters are thought to be haunted by the warden himself, as well as by his wife. Voices that sound as if they are arguing have been heard coming from the office, and the spirit of his wife, Helen, has been seen in her room known as the White Room. Sightings of Helen are often accompanied with a strong scent of roses, and she has been known to speak when sighted. Sudden drops in temperature, as well as the sound of footsteps, also seem to be common, and it's thought that an apparition of the warden still roams the prison, performing his inspections even in death. The basement was where the prisoners were sent to solitary confinement, and the spirit of the guard killed there, as well as the apparition of a young man, possibly a prisoner, have also been seen. Many visitors have also reported hearing the faint sound of whispering in the basement, and feeling overcome with a sense of dread. The West Wing shower room was the site of a suicide where an inmate hung himself, and it's thought that his tortured spirit still lingers. Mists and apparitions have been reported being seen by visitors to the shower room, and some even reported feeling as though they were being choked. The cell blocks are where the prisoners spend most of their time, and they seem to be the place where most of the incidents occur. Feeling hands touching and pulling you, breath on the back of the neck, and more violent incidents like being thrown downstairs have all been reported by visitors to the cell blocks. These strange reports, coupled with Mansfield's dark history, make this prison one of America's most haunted locations. Number 2. Alcatraz Located two kilometers offshore in San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz is one of the most well-known prisons in the world and has a long and bleak history. The island was initially used by the army as a military prison and fort due to its strategic location before a maximum security prison was opened in 1933 designed to hold America's worst criminals. Its location offshore would make escape difficult and the prison itself was designed to break the will of rebellious inmates, which included such infamous criminals as Al Capone and George Kelly. Life inside Alcatraz was intentionally hard and prisoners were denied all but the most basic of facilities. Breaking the rules might land you in the strip cell, which was little more than a lightless steel cage without any toilet or sink. The unfortunate occupant would be stripped naked and cast into the cold darkness to survive on mainly bread and water. With just a straw mattress to sleep on and nothing to keep them warm, the strip cell proved to be an effective deterrent for many prisoners and was one of the most feared punishments. Similar to the strip cell, the hole was another place used for solitary confinement. Food rations in the hole were meagre and light was restricted. Inmates could be sent to the hole for up to 19 days and a stint here could often drive a prisoner insane or at best leave them weak with pneumonia, having spent days or weeks on a cold cement floor. Beatings were rumoured to be commonplace, although such accusations were denied by the warden, and fights between prisoners would often prove deadly, with anyone suspected of snitching likely to be stabbed by other inmates. Since the prison has closed, there have been numerous ghost sightings by visitors to the island, and many believe that the energy of those who serve time on the rock still remains. However, strange tales have been associated with Alcatraz long before tourists ever stepped foot upon the island. One of the more disturbing legends is said to have taken place in the 1940s. An inmate began screaming, saying that he was being attacked by a creature with glowing eyes, but thinking that he was just crazy or lying, nobody paid any attention to the man's terrified screams. The screaming continued on for some time before falling silent. The next day, guards inspecting his cell discovered the prisoner dead with his eyes bulging and hand marks around his throat. The autopsy ruled out suicide, and while he may have been the victim of an abusive guard or another prisoner, some believe that the killer was the spirit of a former inmate. The glowing-eyed ghost has been reported on several occasions since by prisoners and guards and more recently by visitors. Strange sounds, footsteps, screams and whispers have all been mentioned by both guards and prisoners, However, recently two tourists captured this strange image which appears to show the shadowy figure of a young woman lurking behind a cell door. The couple who took this photo could not explain how she got there and she seemed to vanish moments later. Whether you believe these accounts, there's no denying that Alcatraz is a fascinating and creepy location. Number 1. The Tower of London The Tower of London was originally founded in 1066 
as part of the Norman conquest of England, and was intended to be a seat of power for the new ruling elite. However, it began being used as a prison, as well as a palace in around 1100, and has been used to imprison some of the most important people in the history of England, many of whom were violently tortured and executed, or simply murdered without trial. With over 900 years of history, and being home to suffering, death, and a whole host of dark deeds, the Tower of London has earned the reputation of being one of the most haunted locations on Earth, and thousands of ghost sightings have been reported. Thomas A. Beckett was an archbishop who is said to have been murdered by followers of Henry II. He's believed to be one of the first ghosts sighted at the tower, and is said to have destroyed the inner curtain wall while it was still under construction. In an effort to appease the spirit of Thomas Beckett, Henry III built a chapel inside the tower, dedicated to the archbishop, and although no further attacks on the wall occurred, people today still report seeing a ghostly apparition near his tomb. Another common ghost sighting is believed to be that of Queen Anne Boleyn, who was married to the infamous Henry VIII. She was beheaded at Tower Green on the 19th of May 1536, and her headless body is often seen walking through the tower's corridors, as well as at the site of her execution. But perhaps the most well-known and tragic incident at the tower occurred in the Bloody Tower. Two young princes were declared to be illegitimate during a royal power struggle, and subsequently sent to the tower, where they were held until one day vanishing, never to be seen again. It's believed that they were murdered on the orders of their uncle, and the skeletons of two children were unearthed years later, underneath a staircase in the White Tower. The ghosts of two children have since been seen dressed in nightgowns and clutching each other in terror inside rooms of the castle, and their voices can sometimes be heard echoing in the distance. The ghosts are thought to be those of the two young murdered princes. The tower remains one of the UK's most popular tourist destinations, and with thousands of people visiting and working at the tower, the number of paranormal sightings continues to grow each year. So there are my choices for five of the most haunted prisons in the world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.